Well, good morning, traders. Obviously, the good news is that this week we're going to start seeing a lot more of these economies reopening. That's going to be, there's going to be plans here in Australia. In the UK, we're starting to see that from Boris Johnson. Uh, in, in the US, more and more states are opening, and, and that's going to be the case in, in Europe as well. We've got our eye on that and how that obviously goes, given what we see in South Korea with, with re-emergence of cases. I think the markets will be looking at very closely, as they will be with Jerome Powell, who speaks midweek, and the idea that he potentially could poo-poo the idea of negative rates happening anytime soon. I argue in my daily fix that I think it's, it's in some way a positive that he does keep that on the table in times of a crisis you need that and I think he'll like the fact that front end yields are so low. But let's have a look at local markets and, and see how they've opened this morning. Uh, you can see that we are seeing a little bit of risk off uh, in this market at the moment, although there hasn't been huge news to play with. Okay, let's have a look at the FX open so far. Yeah, a little bit of risk off, nothing too sinister. You've got the MEX down 36 basis points. You've got the uh, the Aussie down 21. So a little bit of selling coming through and risk effects. The dollar is broadly stronger, but it's neither here nor there. Obviously early, early doors and so much to still get through. Um, have a look at the futures market here. We can see S&P futures down 20 basis points, NASDAQ 22. Got a little bit of uh, selling coming uh, in Russell down 32 basis points. See how DAX futures open a little bit later. And then we still got the reset of the SPY. The SPY closed up six basis points or three points, pretty f flat indeed. Uh, but one suspects when that reopens, that'll be down a little bit there. So a slightly weaker open expected for the Australian market. Got our eyes on, on, on yields, especially the front end this week with Jerome Powell speaking. If he moves that market higher, uh, that could impact the dollar and it could impact risk more broadly. Have a look at the, the oil markets on the reopen there. You can see June down 2.1%. You've got July down 1.8% and Brent futures down one3 on the front month there. Uh, in terms of vols, again, you know, I didn't realise, but look at the... Um, Implied, and you've got VIX at 27.98%. That was uh, down three and a half vols on Friday. If that continues to gravitate towards 20% this week, that could bring in a lot of vol targeting traders as well. So definitely something we're watching. A slight weaker open, but plenty to play for and a lot to get through.